This is Raptor News. We are a light unto the Gentiles, the entire world. We bring revelation. No revelation was ever given to the Gentiles. We bring salvation. No salvation ever came through the Gentiles. If the Gentiles are not dealing with us, they do not get into the kingdom. They are not blessed. They shall perish and be destroyed. We prove all things by the scriptures. Deuteronomy 14, 2. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. This is why God said he's coming back to destroy the pride because their pride had put themselves above God's chosen people. Genesis twenty-two eighteen, For in thy seed, and that's the seed of Israel, shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. If they're not dealing in thy seed, they are not blessed. They could feel however they want to feel. Though hand in hand, God said, he going to destroy them all. Genesis 12, 3, And I will bless the Gentiles that bless the Israelites. And I will curse the Gentiles that curse the Israelites. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. If they ain't dealing and coming through us, they are not blessed. It is some of them too proud to deal with us. And that's why I said James Sinky was blessed because he dealt with us and he went through us. Malachi 3, 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. So he is not going to send Christ crucified to the Gentiles and say, now go through him. No, if they don't go through us, they don't get in. God don't change. Somebody added that. Isaiah 61, 9. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offsprings among the people. And all that seed them shall acknowledge them, and they that, that they are the seed which the Lord have blessed. So one day they're going to all do what? Say that Israel, all of Israel, is blessed. Genesis 27, 29. Let the people, who is the Gentiles, serve you, and the nations bow down to you, humble themselves. Be Lord over thy brethren, so Jacob be Lord over Esau, and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Cursed be every Gentile that curse you, and blessed be every Gentile that blesses thee. They can't get around that. They can say, well, God, I'm going to bypass them. To bypass them, you have to bypass the Most High God, and you ain't going to do that. Zechariah 8.23 This is what the Lord Almighty says. This ain't what the Raptor News says, or any other preacher or teacher. In those days, ten people from all languages and nations, and these are all Gentile nations, they will take firm and hold of one Hebrew by the hem of his robe and say let us go with you because we have heard that God is with you unless they come with us unless they're dealing with us God don't deal with them I say it again because of their pride and their ego and their evil unless they dealing with the Hebrew Israelite God ain't dealing with them. Let's keep it moving. Exodus 12, 48. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee, and will keep the Passover to the Lord, let all his males be circumcised, he have to abide by the law, and then let him come near and keep it, and he shall be as one that is born in the land. He has to come and what? Shall sojourn with thee. He has to come say what? Let us go with you. Not, hey, I'm the king of the Gentiles. 
uh, I, I, I magnify my own office and I'm doing this over here. Y'all gonna go to hell with that bastard. Isaiah 63, and the Gentiles shall come to your light. So shall I be a Gentile speaking and talking and preaching, and you come to him and say, Woo, he know how to preach the word. He is lying and deceiving you. The Gentiles shall do what? Come to your light. The Gentiles shall do what? Come and sojourn with thee. The Gentiles shall do what? Say, let us go with you. Because God is with you. You are God's people. Anybody preaching anything different has led you astray. Isaiah 62, number 2. And they can get mad at this all they want to. I didn't go back 3,000 years ago and write anything. They know this ain't coming from me. They know who it's coming from. The Most High God. And nobody overturns or supersedes his commandments. If thou shalt enter into the paradise, keep the commandments. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all the kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name, not Negro. Isaiah 42, 6, I, the Lord, have called you for a righteous purpose, Israelites, Hebrews, and I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and appoint you to be a covenant for all the people, which are the Gentiles, and a light to the nations. Who's doing all of this? God is. And so if they ain't dealing with us, they ain't getting in. Isaiah 49, 6, and he said, I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation. They don't get salvation unless they come to our light. Like it or not. That you may be my salvation. That you may be my salvation. Come on, repeat it so y'all can understand it. Let it sink into that hard heart. That you may be my salvation, Hebrew. That you may be my salvation unto the end of the earth. And to the end of time and all, all around the world. It means both. Acts 13, 47. For this is what the Lord has commanded us Gentiles. I have made you a light for the Gentiles to bring salvation to the end of the earth. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation to the end of the earth. If they ain't Dylan in Hebrew or Israelite or the black man, they are going nowhere but to the pit of the hell fire. Good luck with your arrogant ass. John 4, 22. You worship ye which you know not. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jew, the Hebrew the Israelite, if you ain't dealing with us, you ain't getting in. This is Rap the News.